Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, subscribe, follow, comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen folks, there's a link to you down below. Has links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there, follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I'll talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Now with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about the New York Jets firing Robert Sulla. Yes, <laughs> yes, this, this just happened. Robert Sulla has been fired. He is no longer the head coach of the New York Jets and we have got to have this discussion. Comment down below, give the video a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Listen, I am stunned by this. <laughs> I am stunned, I am stunned, I am stunned and I'm still trying to come to grips with this whole situation. It is happening fast, all right? Now again, as we're recording, there may be other things that change, maybe other things that happen, maybe they fire somebody else. I will do videos about that as well, and we'll keep I'll keep you guys abreast of what's going on. But we're gonna start here with Robert Sulla, okay? Now Robert Sulla showed up <laughs> to the facility with the rest of the staff. You know, they were gonna review the loss of the Vikings, get prepared for the Bills upcoming game. And he was told that, you know, he was notified, hey, you're being fired. Said and done. <laughs> keep in mind, Sulla had a 20 and 36 record as New York Jets head coach. Um, and this is the first time that Woody Johnson in his tenure has fired a head coach in season. We're only, you know, five games into the season. And he is gone, said, and done. And from everything that is being reported currently, this was not a Joe Douglas thing. This, this decision came straight from the top. So this was a ownership Woody Johnson decision. He said, I'm making it clear, it's done, we're done with this here. Point blank, period, okay? Now, keep in mind, Jeff Albridge, the New York Jets defensive coordinator, uh, he will take over as the interim head coach. Now, keep in mind, Jeff Albridge at one point, I know we all remember as Jets fans, his name was really hot in coaching circles uh, about being a potential head coaching candidate in the NFL. And we're going to talk about that. I'm going to discuss that a little bit later, but keep that in mind because he was, there was a lot of people that were very intrigued about him, what he would have been able to do with the Jets defense. And they thought, hey, this could be a guy that can lead my football team, you know, down the line. So we're going to touch on that in a second. So now my first thing is this, man. Robert Sulla, okay, there's a lot of knocks on him. But he was a guy that we knew, hey, was a good defensive coordinator. He came in here and his defenses were solid for the most part, right? We had dominant defenses last season. We were elite season before that for the, most of his tenure here, right? His defenses were on point, okay? On point. He put it together. Uh, there's times they struggled this season. And when you look at what's going on here, I believe it's, it's not about being a defensive coordinator, right? It's about being an overall head coach. He was sold to us as being a CEO head coach, That right? He was going to do all things and be involved in many things. And when you look at things outside of the defensive spot, everything else has been not so good. Right? We've seen the Jets offense struggle since he's been here. We've seen the undisciplined play <laughs> has been insane, right? Heavily penalized teams out the wazoo. It's been the same thing every season, right? Especially when you look at its offenses. It's it's been rough. It's been very, very rough. So when you look at, you know, what being a head coach is in totality, like he just hasn't had it there. And there's been some rough spots. And again, the defenses have been solid, but it's about more than just that. And with everything happening so fast and him being fired, like, and, and again, according to reports, he was stunned by the decision. He was like shocked himself. You start to wonder like, is there something that happened? Something that went on that spurred this decision? I remember a little while ago, there was a lot of reports swirling around that there was issues or risks between Robert Sulla and Aaron Rodgers, right? That was floating around. And I remember Aaron Rodgers coming out and saying, hey, you know, basically that that wasn't true and that there was just a lot of forces trying to pull them apart and a lot of things. And you start to wonder, you know, was some of that stuff really true? And also, 
did something happen recently? Maybe after the Vikings game, was there something going on? I remember earlier, uh, you know, there was talks, and Robert Sullivan was talking about the cadence being an issue as to why the Jets were getting so many penalties. And then Aaron Rodgers, you know, answered himself that it wasn't about cadence, it was about holding the guys accountable. It's a lot. And even Quincy Williams recently talked, came out and talked about how, and this was after the loss to the Vikings, he said that he was tired of the same old thing being said every week. I had to censor that because he said some other words as well that aren't, you know, very, <laughs> uh, aren't very friendly to certain people's ears, but he made it known that he was tired of the same thing every single week. He said himself, I'm tired of saying the same thing myself every week and that people need to step up and start taking accountability. And Man, you gotta wonder, was that aimed at the Jets coaching staff and mainly Robert Seller because of the issues that's been going on here? Now, another question that comes to my mind because again, this is just happening and I'm still trying to come to grips with everything. Are there more changes coming? <laughs> Are we gonna see more people get fired? And here's where I'm going. I don't see how you fire Robert Sulla, okay? I don't see how you fire him but you don't fire Nathaniel Hackett. Oh, baby. <laughs> I don't see how you do it because Nathaniel Hackett is one of the biggest issues on this football team, especially he's the biggest issue on the offense. How does firing Robert Sulla make the offense better? It doesn't. Nathaniel Hackett needs to get it together, bro. He needs to be gone. If you're firing Robert Sulla, he needs to be gone too. This guy's play calling is atrocious and it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. You see the same exact thing. The same thing. With or without Aaron Rodgers, you see the offense struggle with creativity. With or without Aaron Rodgers, you see the offense struggle to utilize players, technique, and talent to full potential. Without, With or without Aaron Rodgers, you see the offense often go out and look sloppy. Penalties, excessive penalties, guys not really knowing where they're supposed to be. You see the same thing. You see players frustrated. With or without Aaron Rodgers, you see the same thing. Sloppy, slow starts, them coming out just not looking like they know what's going on. It's the same thing with or without Aaron Rodgers. So how does that man keep his job? How does it? Even Aaron Rodgers himself has looked frustrated with the play calling this season. Visibly. Visibly. I mean, you go watch that Vikings game, and he's literally telling them, hey, he's telling the thing, hey, get the play call in. Like, what's going on? How many times have we blown through timeouts, blown through timeouts because they couldn't get the play call in quick enough? How many times has that happened just this season alone so far? I'm wondering. Is this guy going to fire? Is Joe Douglas on the line to get fired too? That was the guy, right? You drafted Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson was supposed to be the franchise quarterback. He ain't here no more. You also hired Robert Sulla to be your leader for years to come. He ain't here no more either now. He got fired in season. So is Joe Douglas on the line as well to be fired soon too? We all knew coming into this year that this was a, a year where everybody was on the hot seat. Even Aaron Rodgers himself said, if we don't get it done, everybody's going to be gone. So everybody knew what the consequences were. So I'm wondering, man, is there going to be more moves? Also, does this mean that the season is over? <laughs> Generally, when you fire your head coach in season, that means season is done. So I'm wondering if the New York Jets pretty much at this point believe that the season is over. And there's a lot of reports swirling that the reason why this decision was made was because Jets ownership doesn't believe that the team can turn things around. Comment down below. Jeff Albridge, man. Jeff Albridge, I'll tell you what, has an amazing opportunity. He does. As a guy that was a big, you know, talk around the league as being a head coaching candidate, he has an amazing opportunity. Here you are with a team that has talent, that is very, very talented, but for some reason can't get it together, right? For various issues, right? Whether it whether it be guys not being prepared, not being disciplined, things not being handled correctly, you can step into a situation where you have Aaron Rodgers and you have an offense that has talent and weapons on it. And if you can get and you can provide a spark and you can get these guys to play for you and you can somehow turn this season around. It, again, we're two and three. If the New York Jets win their next football game, we could be first in the AFC East. <laughs> this, this, that's why, again, this move is, is shocking. Because this is not like something 
like you know like we're last in the division we're zero and five like no we're two and three like we still have a chance as crazy as it seems with the way we played this year we still have a chance to be first in the afc east and really push and possibly make the playoffs if we are just better if we just execute better if we come into the games more prepared if we come out and have better first halves than we've had we can win games and we can actually be in the playoffs if we do that and if Jeff Albridge can get this team to play for him, if Jeff Albridge can have this team prepared on a weekly basis, if Jeff Albridge can come out and produce and get wins here and get the Jets to the playoffs, I don't see how he is in a serious candidate to continue to go forward as New York Jets head coach. I don't see how he wouldn't be. Very interesting. Listen, comment down below. I want to hear from y'all. What are your thoughts about Robert Seller being fired? What are your thoughts about Nathaniel Hackett to this point still being the Jets offensive coordinator? That's shocking. And what are your thoughts about Jeff Albridge going forward? Do you think he could be the guy? Comment down below. I want to hear from you folks. You folks have a good one. Peace.